In this video, I'm going to show you my blood test results that I had done before and after doing the carnivore diet. I did the carnivore diet for 30 days just to try it out. I saw a lot of stuff on it on the internet, saw it on uh, Joe Rogan's podcast and a couple other podcasts. Uh, I've been looking to lose some weight and I thought it'd be a good diet to go on. If you can check out that video, you'll see that I did lose a little over 20 pounds. Uh, it's not a real hard diet to do. I'd say the first 10 days was a little difficult. Uh, and then you just kind of learn uh, to salt your food a little more and what kind of food to eat. And it's not too bad for 30 days. I continued on a little bit after that. I kind of modified it a little bit. I was getting some muscle cramps. Uh, but I'm kind of starting a, a different diet plan. Uh, but I do have blood test results that I'm going to go over. Uh, and my doctor did call me and ask uh, what the heck I did because a couple things changed drastically. So I'll bring the camera in up close. We'll check these out and see what happened. I'm not going to read all of these on this first sheet, but this is the CBC without differential, white blood cell count, uh, MCV, all that good stuff. Shows my value, shows the standard range. Everything on here was within standard range. And nothing on this sheet really changed at all. Potassium, total protein, sodium. And if you look over here, this is going to be the after carnivore diet. And this is 30 days before. And this is like every year before that. So if you look on here, there's real no drastic change here. I was surprised to see that my sodium level uh, was, is slightly low. It's a little under 137. Uh, but it only dipped a little bit. Uh, you do have to salt your food quite a bit on the carnivore diet. And I was surprised to see that it wasn't even lower. On this page, red cell count, uh, you're still at 5.1. It's no real big change there. White cell count did drop down to 5.2, which is the lowest it's ever been since I've been going to this doctor. So a couple differences on this page. If you look down here at glucose, uh, you can see that about five years ago it was at 115. And I've been trying to get that down ever since. And now it's down to 84. 87, 30 days before carnivore diet. And dropped down even more to 84. Creatinine. The max level is 1.27. And I've been running around, here we got 1.2, 1.7, 1.05, 1.15 before uh, the carnivore diet and 1.28 which is just a hair too high after carnivore diet and everything on this page uh, still falls in between the normal range here's where we get some differences check out the cholesterol was at 192 before carnivore diet 334 after uh, that's what the doctor actually called me about and asked what the heck I was doing different. HDL at 86, LDL at 239, triglycerides at 43, and VLDL at 9. So a lot of big differences on that page. And on this last page of test results, not much differences between anything. Uh, all my numbers are still within the range of all the indicators. So those are the results of before and after the carnivore diet. Now a couple things improved, a couple things definitely got worse. Uh, but I did enjoy doing the carnivore diet for 30 days. Uh, I was very strict. I did not have uh, any milk or any soda, none of that stuff. Uh, I stuck to it pretty good. So I've modified it a little bit and hopefully keep on losing weight. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You got some information out of it. And thanks for watching.